That was what I was going to ask is, I guess, what do uh, in the vein of this, what does physics do that philosophy cannot do? And I mean, well, that pretty I mean, much is well, the I testing mean, of not yeah. when it comes to. Well, when it comes to physical questions, absolutely nothing. It can do a lot more and it does a lot more. That's why physics has progressed. And, you know, the philosophy of science really hasn't done much. But but when it when it comes to non-physical questions like consciousness, which maybe it ultimately is a physics question, but. But it's so complicated, it's going to be studied by neuroscientists. Right. Um, physics doesn't have much to say at this point. Some people think it does. My friend uh, Roger Penrose thinks somehow physics is related to consciousness. I think he's wrong. But, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll, um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll find that out. But, uh, but right now, what physics doesn't do is, is, is produce interesting questions about consciousness that philosophers can at least frame. So there's some room left for them. Let me put it that way. This is really interesting because uh, I was interviewing Professor Mark, uh, Mark Solms in his book, and he seems to have somewhat of a quantum mechanic angle of trying to explain, I think. And I, it, look, some of his stuff went over my head in his yeah, book. Yeah. So it's really, really fascinating.